Next month, ESPN will deliver another fierce competition pitting young people against each other in a winner-take-all showdown that has become an American tradition. Ah, but there's no tackling, there's no dunking or diving. It's a battle of the brains. The national spelling bee in school patrol, Catoosa County sends its first ever contestant to Washington, D.C. Heritage Middle School 7th grader John Courtney is doing drills and tuning up in hopes of performing before a worldwide audience in the National Spelling Bee. These kids have amazing talent, like how, how hard they've studied. And I've watched videos of these kids. They study like multiple hours a day of just looking at words and learning about words. And it just amazes me. Billy Carlock, one of the school's gifted teachers, acts as John's classroom coach. She always knew John had potential and she's proud of his work ethic and his incredible spelling skills. He's very attentive, he's ready to learn. And, um, whenever we have spelling questions, I say, okay, where's my speller? <laughs> and uh, we go to John. John had to win school, county, and regional spelling bees to make it to the national stage. It can be an intimidating platform, but he thrives on pressure. Well, I usually like write out words with my f hand and I kind of look more down instead of into the audience when I spell and like look more at the pronouncer so that I can focus more on the word and less about the audience. During the next six weeks, John will spend every spare moment learning the origins and definitions of thousands of words, most of which you and I will never use. He's proud to represent Heritage Middle and Catoosa County and wants to show the world that a small town boy can compete at the highest levels and he's already looking ahead. Maybe in the future, because like if I have any other interviews or anything like that, it could get me a job easier because I'd have a bigger vocabulary and know more words. Well, no doubt about that. John's older sister was also a local spelling bee champ and his dad works with him every day on those spelling drills. He's looking forward to the national finals, which will be his first trip to